looking back at me. Okay, the last ear clothes, uh, sweatpants, and then your t-shirts. There you go. <laughs> last of your laundry is done. Joy. Thank you for your help, Angel. Of course. <laughs> I mean, what else are friends for? I know how hard it can be to get stuff done when you're sad. Are you feeling any better? A bit. I'm mainly confused about it all, you know? Wondering if I did something wrong. Yeah, I understand. If you want, I can reach out to Charlie and, you know, talk to him and... Kamaji, we're trying to have a conversation. Thank you very much. You are needed for cuddles, not meows. Please and thank you. <laughs> if you want, I could talk to him and just kind of get his side of the story too, so maybe it'll give you more clarity. If you're okay with that. Yeah, I'm okay with that. Just don't be mean to him, okay? <laughs> of course I won't, Joy. I mean... I've been friends with him for as long as I've been friends with you, really, when you think about it, so... I just want to figure out what happened, and help you guys find a way to at least be friends again. <laughs> yeah, I know. I don't think you have a mean bone in your body. <laughs> I guess. <laughs> it's getting pretty late. Do you want me to just sleep in here with you so you don't have to be alone? I uh, yeah, I'd really like that. Night is... Kinda... the hardest part for me. Why's that? Just kind of alone with my thoughts. That makes sense. I shouldn't have asked. <laughs> well, anyways, let's get all cozy and relax in bed. Thank you, Angel. Love you. <laughs> Love you too, girly. Now, let's get comfy. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Kamaji. Cuddle time. Hey, Shorty. What's up? I want to ask you something. Of course. What is it? Well, uh, are you, um, well, are you, uh... Am I what? Come on, I don't bite. <laughs> <laughs> are you, are you into girls? Oh, uh, yeah. Yeah, I am. I, uh, I hope it doesn't make you uncomfortable with being my friend at all, uh... No! That's not why I asked. <laughs> uh, hey, would you like to hang out tonight? Maybe watch a movie at one of our dorms? I will warn you, if we do it at my place, I'm dorm with a couple of jocks who are kind of a lot. <laughs> sure, I'd love to. We can do it at my place if you'd like. Awesome! Text me a door number when you get the chance, and I'll be over around 7 with your food. Your choice, sushi or pizza? Sushi! I'd like a spicy crab roll if they have it. And, uh, I'll Venmo you for my food. Sounds good! See you then! Remember to text me a door number! Later, Cass! <laughs> a cute girl likes me? I, th I think that's what that was, at least. <sighs> Please don't mess this up, Cassidy.
these look delicious. <laughs> but yeah, as we were talking about, um, thanks for opening up to me. I'm glad we talked about everything that's happening with my dad. This is actually his old jacket. He gave it to me before I left for college. Well, you look very nice in it. Thanks. <laughs> I wish we had as good of a relationship as we used to, you know? It just feels like my dad is so scared of me failing at music. I'm really sorry that you and your dad's relationship hasn't been as good recently. I'm sure he will come around and support you unconditionally, but it's not your priority to make him feel like you're not failing. You're not failing, and you don't have to appease anyone. It's your life. Yeah, you're right. It's our lives. We should live them for ourselves. Exactly, and it's just a added bonus we get to spend them together. <laughs> oh, I think I'm gonna have a chocolate sprinkle done first. <laughs> I appreciate you understanding. It means a lot. Of course, Dean. I I can't say I understand because I don't know what you're going through personally, but I'm sorry that you're going through it, and I can only imagine what that must be like. If you need me to call him instead of you calling him, if he keeps nagging on to you, I can just explain the situation. I'm sure he'll understand. No, I don't want you to get involved. Okay, I respect that. It's okay. <sighs> I'm so excited to perform here soon. I'm sorry I didn't tell you sooner, by the way. I was just really stressed. I'm excited to have you in the crowd cheering me on. I'll always be your biggest fan. Promise. Same to you. Promise. Kamachi? What's wrong? Kamaji. I don't know, but it's scaring me. Kamaji, buddy, it's okay. I think it's something on the other side of the door. Don't open it. There are three girls living alone in a dorm. That doesn't seem smart. You're right. I'll call Dean to come over and stay the night to make sure we're safe. I've never felt unsafe in this storm building before. But Kamaji never acts this way. Rather be safe than sorry. Hey, babe. What's up? Hey, uh, Kamaji's acting super strange and keeps hissing at the front door, and it's scaring Joy and I a bit. Can you come upstairs and stay with us till we feel safe? Of course. I'll be right over. Love you, sweetheart. Love you. He's on his way. <sighs> Good. I... What's wrong with your cat? We don't know. Dean's on his way over to make sure no one is outside our dorm. Why don't I just check? We don't think it's safe. Okay, that's fine. We can wait. In the meantime, Kamaji, can you chill out, please? He's gonna wake up my... Wake up who? Uh, the neighbors, obviously. <laughs> what else would it be? Are you hiding something from us? Yeah, you're acting kind of sus. It's nothing. I just... <sighs> Did I fall asleep while we were watching the movie? So sorry, Cassidy. I... Oh! Hello! Nice to meet you guys. I'm Lydia. Lydia Shorty. I'm assuming you're Cassidy's roommates? Yeah! Uh, hi! <laughs> I'm Angel. I'm Joy. Nice to meet you too. So, are you guys friends or...? 
<laughs> We're just friends. Just, just friends. Mm hmm. And why aren't I believing you? We're still figuring out what we are. Right, Cass? Yeah, Shorty. Oh, you guys even have cute nicknames for each other. Who is it? It's Dean. Dean! Thank you so much for coming over. No problem. So, what's up with Kamaji? Uh, we don't know. Was there anyone outside the door when you walked up? No, but I did find a piece of paper on the ground outside the door. Here. Huh? That's weird. It looks like a letter. It's been a while, not as long as you think. High school seemed to go by in a blink. Forgotten friends and romances simmer. I want you for myself by this summer. I'm growing impatient, and your clock is ticking. Keep an eye out for me, because I'm not kidding. What the hell is this supposed to mean? What the? You really didn't see anyone outside when you walked up? No one, I promise. Guys, who could this message be from? Whoever it is needs to get a life. Guys, I think I know who wrote this. Who? I think Axel's back. <laughs>